Hey guys, it's Destiny, and today I'm gonna show you guys a pretty fun March team for Apocalyptic Shadow, and then I'll just show you guys a pretty fun team as well for my second side clear. And before we get into today's video, let me know what characters you've been having the most fun with recently in Honkai Star Rail. And of course, if you enjoy videos like these, do make sure to subscribe, leave a like to support the video, and now let's get straight into it. So for today's team, we're gonna be using Boba March, Branya, Robin, and then Aventurine. And for Aventurine slot, you honestly could just use any sustain that's able to attack frequently or has some form of a follow-up, whatever it may be. And we're just gonna get straight into this, so bam. But yeah, when it comes to Aventurine, you can use like Lingsha, you can use Gallagher. Just want somebody that'll be a good slot for March to be able to make her Shifu. And this guy is literally charging up a freaking fire mini spirit bomb. Bro is gonna hit us with like a freaking fireball to the face. He's gonna hit us with the wabam instead. We're just gonna use March's skill and give some tasty boba to Aventurian and then use her ultimate. There we go. And with Branya, her role is going to be to advance forward March very frequently. And since March and Aventurine can basic attack very often, we actually will have a bunch of skill points to be able to use Branya's skill very, very easily. So we're just gonna do that, there we go. Now March is gonna come in. And now what we can do is advance her everyone forward with Robin. And now with March, basic again. And now it is time for the ultimate wabam. We're gonna do this in normal speed. One, two, three, boom, boom, bam, there we go. That guy is now a goner. So now with Branya, we could do the same thing as before. Advance forward March. And now with March, we can do a basic and we can also do her ultimate. So let's take advantage of that. And wha-bam, there we go. Aventurine did get hit, but this is actually perfect. So now what we can do is, ooh, we can either hit Kafka with this or we can hit the guy on the right. I'm just gonna hit the guy on the right just to take advantage of that. He might actually die. Oh yeah, he literally died. <laughs> So now Kafka is going to hit us, but not to fret, we are fine. We're just going to basic right here. Venturing is going to use his basic and now with March once again, and we should be able to deal a nice chunk of damage here. There we go. We're going to advance forward March once again and wha-bam, there we go. So now everyone's about to get their ultimates again, which is awesome. So what we can do is just use March's ultimate and I'm just going to use everybody's ultimates here just so we can deal a bunch of damage. Boom, there we go. Now with Branya, we can use her ultimate. And Branya is literally so helpful here just for being able to advance forward March super frequently. So there we go. And now he's going to do his follow up. And now with Robin, we can just advance everyone forward once again. Just be able to take advantage of those really nice buffs from her ultimate. We're just going to basic. Now with Venturi and basic. And it's just literally a party with how many basics we're doing. Boom. Now we're on to the next wave of enemies here. The little T-Rex chef is very angry at us though, which is not very fun. Okay, we did take a bit of damage there, unfortunately, but what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to advance forward adventuring now so we can actually use his skill just so we have some more shields going on. There we go. Oh, we are so close to getting his ultimate, but it's fine. We'll use it now. We're gonna hit Mr. T-Rex chef. He is not gonna know what's coming to him. Now we're gonna do our follow-up. And now Mr. Other T-Rex, the purple T-Rex, is he purple? This is like a bluish purple, right? I feel like my eyes are deceiving me right now. What kind of, is this purple or is this blue or is this in between? I don't know. Regardless, we have the two T-Rexes. We got T-Rex Chef and we got purple T-Rex. And this T-Rex is annoying as heck. So we're gonna try to get rid of T-Rex Chef as soon as possible. We're gonna hit the T-Rex with the wabams and the booms, right? So we're gonna just hit the chef right here. Boom, there we go. And he is going to explode because uh, I guess he just feels like it, why not? So we're gonna basic and now March also has her enhanced basic now. Boom, there we go. And the T-Rex fell over and now it's a goner. Now what we could do is advance forward March. And I'm sorry, by the way, guys, if I'm super talkative right now, I just drank my coffee, so I'm on like gap 9,000. And now with Robin, we can use our skill because we just have so many skill points ready, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, this T-Rex is getting, ah! This T-Rex is getting angry as heck. Oh gosh. Okay, we can reuse Robin's ultimate right here. You know what, we might be fine to do this, honestly. We might be okay. We're gonna break the T-Rex. Okay, there we go, boom. 
And now we can basic. This T-Rex has like just a little bit of health. So it kind of sucks that we're going to waste that enhanced basic on him. But you know what? It's fine. Basic here. March comes in. And now with Bronya, advance forward March like always. We did get Bronya's ultimate as well. Let's take advantage of that. And now with March, we're just going to base it. Kafka is going to hit us, which is not very fun. But we do have March's ultimate now, which is very nice. Boom. There we go. Oh, no. We're about to get hit with the freaking domination. Oh, no. Please, no. <gasps> Bronya! Oh, this is not supposed to happen. This turn of events was absolutely not supposed to happen. Okay, it's fine, though. We're going to break her. There we go. Boom. Oh my gosh, I feel like we just lost so many um, action value because of that happening. But because I was able to get a clear with, um, if I'm not mistaken, I got 1600 for a clear before. So this is a little unfortunate, but you know what? It happens. March is going to come in. There we go. And it's literally the last hit here. Just advance forward March. And we're just going to end this off and boop. There we go. <laughs> Real quick before we carry on, I wanted to say thank you to today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. By using Surfshark, you'll be able to better protect your personal data when surfing the web. Surfshark will be able to protect your devices from unwanted malware, and you'll also be able to use Surfshark on an unlimited amount of devices. This means you can now have better protection on all the devices you use. And another cool perk of using a VPN is that you can watch shows that aren't actually available in your country on your favorite streaming services. For example, let's say I really wanted to watch Rick and Morty, but it isn't currently available in the US on Netflix. I can use Surfshark to be able to watch the show on Netflix, even though I am in the United States. Plus, Surfshark also has a 30-day money-back guarantee policy, and this will allow you to try out Surfshark to see how you like it. You can use my Surfshark link in the description or pinned comment to try it out. And once again, thank you very much to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's carry on. So here we are on the Sunday side, and he looks incredibly menacing. I don't understand what they fed Sunday for this, but this is terrifying looking. Oh my gosh. But we're going to be using Lingsha on this side and just using a main DPS Lingsha as well. All right. So what we're going to do immediately with Ting Yun is just use her ultimate here onto Lingsha. There we go. And I'm going to wait until everyone has their ultimates ready before I do take advantage of Lingsha's ultimate. Just so we're able to get those super breaks from HMC, which will be really good. Let's just do that. Boop, there we go. And now with HMC, we can use their ultimate. And now with Ruame, we can just basic. It's perfectly fine. There we go. And now with Lingsha, I'm just going to actually use her ultimate here. I think it's fine. There we go. Boom. And now that's going to share weaknesses. So now Fuyuin can come in. Boom, there we go. And we're going to be able to just reduce so many of their toughness meters here, which is awesome. Oh, and we also have the train. Yay. The train is just going to freaking hit Sunday in the face. So that's really good. Now with Ting Yun, because we do have the available skill points, I'm just going to take advantage of that. Just so she has a bit more energy for her next ultimate. And now with HMC, we can just use their skill. There we go. And now with Ruame, we can just basic. Now with Lingsha, we can actually just basic here. That's fine. And now with Ting Yun, I am going to use her skill. There we go. And I'm also going to use her ultimate. Just to give Lingsha some more energy here. There we go. Now she's full on energy. So we're just going to be able to break a bunch of them now. And we're just going to be able to take advantage of this with the power of Ting Yun giving Lingsha quite a lot of energy. And now let's see. We are going to get hit here, but this is perfectly fine. Oh no, they put Ting Yun to sleep. Okay, that's not very fun. <laughs> but I think this should honestly still be fine. We can now use HMC's skill. Now with Lingsha, let's. No, we could just basic here. It's fine. So now we have everyone's ultimates. So we are going to take advantage of that. I'm going to do this just to heal Ting Yun. Boom. There we go. And now we have Ting Yun's ultimate ready. And I'm also actually going to replenish Ruan Mei's ultimate. Now with Ting Yun, the same game plan as before. Skill on Lingsha. With Ruan Mei, we can replenish our skill. And now with Lingsha, boom. There we go. And now with Ting Yun, 
Same thing as before, just use our skill. Boom, and now we're on to the next wave. I'm just gonna basic and then use her ultimate. This is fine, there we go. Boom, Buyuin's gonna come in and break. Okay, now we're on the second day. So now with King Yoon, we can use her skill and now we can also use the ultimate once again on Lingxia. There we go. And this one over here is actually weak to imaginary. So we're gonna take advantage of that. All right, and now with Lingxia, we can just basic, that's fine. Okay, oh wait, we have the train. Yay, <laughs> we just have the train in the back ready. All right. Now what we can do with Ting Yoon, let's see. Honestly, we'll just basic for this time. Now with Ruan Mei, I kind of do want to replenish her ultimate pretty soon. So I'm just going to use a skill. Now we can use Ling Xia's skill. Now Fu Yuan's going to come in. And now we actually have our ultimate and we can literally do another Wabam combo. So there we go. We have our ultimate. Boom. And now we have our follow up. Boom. There we go. We are going to get hurt here, but it should honestly be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Now Fuyuan's actually going to come in right again. So there we go. Fuyuan was able to come right back up. And now what we could do is use our skill with Ting Yoon. With Ruan Mei, we can use our ultimate. And we can also basic attack here. All right. Now with HMC, we're going to use our ultimate just to replenish that. Now with Lingxia, I can use her skill. And now with Ting Yoon, we can basic and also use her ultimate. So there we go. Boom. And now we have Lingxia's ultimate. I'm just going to immediately take advantage of it because why not? Boom. They got broken. And now we're about to see his toughness meter. Okay, we're breaking quite a lot of them. There we go. Now what I can do is use her ultimate again. And then I'm going to use Ting Yoon's ultimate on Lingxia. Boom. Oh, wait, we might actually kill here in a second. Okay, let's see if we actually can kill. Boom, there we go. Boop. And there we go, we're able to clear it. We got similar-ish scores on both of them. I feel like both of these runs could have been a little bit better with maybe just like tweaking the RNG or maybe using certain other skills or basics, whatever it may be. Regardless, this still will be enough to get your full points, so that's pretty fun. And before we end today's video, I thought we can go over my character builds real quick, which some of these characters do have Eidolon. However, you should be able to perfectly do these runs without the Eidolons having to be on the characters, which is why I wanted to showcase these particular runs for today. So here is my March and we can just quickly go over her stats and then I'll do the rest for the rest of the characters as well. He does have In the Night equipped, but if you want a free to play option, that would be Cruising the Stellar Sea. Here is my Bronya, and here are her stats. He does have her Light Cone, but you can definitely use other Harmony options if you don't have this one. As you guys can see, my Branya does have all of her Eidolons, but honestly, you don't need any of these for this particular run, as I was using her skill every single time, so I wasn't really taking advantage of the E6. And as for the E1, it is nice for the skill points. However, because of our team being really skill point positive, this really doesn't matter for this particular run. So because of that, while her Eidolons are really nice, you don't need any of these for this run. For Robin, she does have her signature, but you can use for tomorrow's journey, which is a very nice free to play option. We do have an E1 Robin, but you don't need this. The main reason we have Robin on the team is just so she can advance everyone forward with her ultimate as well as give her really nice buffs. Now, while her E1 is definitely really nice for more damage output, it isn't necessary for this particular team, as you should be able to still have a pretty nice clear without it. And lastly, with my adventuring, which I just realized something, I don't have the correct build on him, because his defense is a bit on the lower end, I believe, because I swapped two speed boots on him, but I did keep his offensive pieces. So for his orb, he'll have an imaginary damage orb. And if I'm not mistaken, he also has a crit damage orb. 
So his defense is a bit on the lower end, but regardless, what I would have ended up doing is actually maybe swapping his orb to a defense orb instead. So that was my bad for not realizing that for this particular build. But regardless, we still were able to get the job done. I would just recommend if you are using him, having that around 4,000 defense or higher is just pretty nice on him. He does have his signature, but if you do not have this one, you can use, of course, like Japard's Light Cone. You can also use, of course, any other alternatives you have, as long as you have a good amount of defense on him. And he does actually have Speed Boots equipped. And the reason why he has Speed Boots is because when March makes him her Shifu, this will actually allow him to be over the 134 speed threshold. So he will be able to attack a bit more frequently. And as for his Eidolons, my Aventurine is completely E0. But yeah, this is just for today's team. Once again, as I said, you don't need the Eidolons to be able to do pretty well with this team. Of course, with March, I would recommend getting her Eidolons, but these are completely free. So that is something to keep in mind. But yeah, I'd love to know what teams you guys use for this Apocalyptic Shadow. I had a lot of fun, honestly, just sewing off this March team. But I'd love to know just what you guys have been experimenting with yourself. If you did enjoy this video, do make sure to subscribe, leave a like to support the video, and I hope to see you all next time. Peace.